In the Hudson Valley Artist Spotlight today at 100.7 WHUD, a guy who's been on an amazing journey, David Shulman. Hello, David. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Where are you now? Where do you live now? Uh, I am currently based out of New York City. Uh, I was just living in Brooklyn, sort of in between apartments at the moment, but looking to be in Manhattan soon. Okay, but your journey began in the Hudson Valley. Where in the Hudson Valley? Uh, that would be Muncie, New York. In Muncie. And uh, what got you into rock and roll? It's a really cool story. Why don't you begin at the beginning? Well, basically, uh, you know, I started out uh, in a large religious, uh, ultra-Orthodox Jewish family in Muncie, uh, where I was brought up. And then, essentially, uh, the catapult would really be uh, things sort of changed quickly. Uh, Something that usually doesn't happen in Muncie happened for my family, which was my parents decided to get a divorce. And that's sort of very much, what's the word, just kind of uh, tore away the, uh, the curtain, so to speak, between the inside world of religion and the outside of world of what else is out there. And I actually I actually started getting into music by uh, stealing my older brother's CD player and taking his CDs <laughs> yeah. uh, and listening to things uh, such as uh, Disturbed, Linkin Park, System mm-hmm. of a Down, uh, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Uh, so actually, uh, that was kind of like the, uh, the intro to music at the very base of it. And then a couple of years later, moved forward a couple of years and my family had moved a few times. I had worked a little bit in like some pizza shops, made some cash, uh, ended up buying a guitar and, you know, writing some poetry at first, just about uh, going through uh, the trials and tribulations of, uh, you know, uh, being smacked by reality a little bit by leaving a, uh, a fold of a religious world where you're sort of bubbled in and sure. life is very much different. And then you get out there and you realize that, uh, society is very much a uh, totally open and different world. Even now, everybody is kind of in a different place. You know, part of my family is still very religious, uh, and part of my family is not. But we, uh, we all still manage to be family. I mean, I think a lot of culture and a lot of tradition from all over the world is really beautiful, and that's one of the places where music comes from. When did you pick up the guitar? Yeah, I mean, I picked up a guitar when I was about 12, um, it was actually it was an older guitar that was in the house again from one of my older brothers. Mm-hmm. So I can attribute a lot of my interest to music from uh, my brothers. Uh, they were they were all older than me, and they uh, they would leave things behind, you know, so to right. speak. And things made a lot of sense. I just started singing my poems along with whatever you know chord progressions I could get together. And the truth is that the first uh, the first five songs of my album were all written when I was uh, between the ages of, like, you know, 13 and 15, 16. We're going to talk about that album, Gone to Shame, which is really cool in just a moment. We're here at the Hudson Valley Artist Spotlight at 100.7 WHUD with David Shulman, originally from Muncie. you got some heavyweight players on this album uh, called Gone to yeah. Shame. you got Tony Levin, Jerry Morota. Where'd you find these guys? The network that we were able to bring together for this album uh, would mostly be attributed to my producer, of course, Judd Davis. He is a part of the independent record label, uh, Escatone Records, who, were, who I did this with. But generally, I mean, the beautiful thing about musicians is that musicians want to play music. Well, they must have seen something in you and your music, because uh, these, these guys are not time wasters. A lot of people want their yeah. want their valuable talent, right? In 2010, it must have been at SUNY Albany Upstate. I was attending school as a freshman there, and there was a, an event put together on campus, and that was the event was described as basically a drum circle jam session, and it said that it was being led by Jerry Murata. That's kind of how the whole relationship started, and then it, it wasn't until like a year and a half later that he had suggested, you know, why don't you let me help you uh, get this album going. We can start recording. You move forward, and we were able to get some really cool people to be involved, as well as some not only uh, big names, but even people in my life or in his life. Uh, it really feels good to have a finished product. <laughs> yeah, you hang out, you talk to people, you be uh, as authentic as you can be, right? And uh, good things happen to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The album Gone to Shame has a theme throughout. It's about the kind of the story you just described, pretty much, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Uh, pretty much every song can be twist tied into uh, a certain phase of my life. Like the song Note to Self is a great example because. Uh, That was literally a note that I had written to myself uh, just about the idea that, you know, no matter where you're coming from, no matter where you're going, no matter how long or how short it takes, you're never going to find yourself in time. The whole idea is that you need to just uh, breathe, relax, and just keep going. It was a very conflicting time because from where I had come from, 
I had grown up a very particular way in a very particular community and then sort of broken out of it. Well, you are the definition of a rebel. <laughs> I guess, I guess and that so, is, yeah. And that I is mean, rock and roll. Have you sold the movie they, rights to your story yet? The movie rights? No, I haven't quite thought that far <laughs> into the movie rights yet. Okay, uh, someone's going to come by. Someone's going to come by. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> we, can, uh, we, can get the, uh, we can pull up into Muncie, New York with all the... Uh, the Hollywood lights. That's It'll be great. Right. They'd love that. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love that. Yeah. They'll let you, us right in. Where can people find you website wise? Oh, yeah. So, shulman.bandcamp.com is where you'll be able to find the album, which you can download digitally or you can buy the CD. You can even download individual tracks if you like. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at D Shulman Music and Facebook.com slash David Shulman Music. In the Hudson Valley Artist Spotlight at 100.7 WHUD, David Shulman, uh, here is Note to Self. Congratulations, Dave. Shabbat Shalom, and thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.